investigation and we'll get to interrogate that eventually even as you can expect um, a couple of stories uh, centered on the Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa camps. And remember that the Azimio Brigade was hit by two camps jumping ship. CCM and PA Party from the coast uh, definitely covered in today's dailies and we'll get to highlight that a little bit later on. Now let's shift focus and perhaps take a look at the star right here. Uh, the front page on today's edition of The Star. The big story, IEBC 6 law change on ballot box ceiling. That's what you can expect in today's edition, where the IBC wants approval to open boxes if presiding officers wrongly put in stray materials. Interesting move right there. It's a radical proposal as poll experts warn of imminent changes or challenges rather and opportunities for mischief. There you have it on the front page. More details on page four and five of the star. But a photo up right there where Uhuru was mobbed by workers at the new Sri Lankan clothes factory right here in the country. And it's all to do with job creation. President Uhuru Kenyatta during that official opening in Kenya of a Sri Lankan apparel and textile manufacturer that has employed over 3,000 Kenyans. Good news right there. And more details covered in today's edition of The Star, including that radical proposal on pages four and five where IBC is seeking a window to open sealed ballot boxes. According to those proposed regulations, the presiding officer shall open the ballot box and retrieve the required material in the presence of a returning officer the constituency tallying center agents and polling station agents. This in the backdrop of poll experts warning that this changes might come or might face imminent challenges. It's definitely a controversial change right there that the IBC is seeking to have. But more details covered on page four and five on that particular story in the Star newspaper. Make sure you grab yourself a copy. Um, even as on the top right there, I embraced man at Kibaki Mass as act of grace, says Archbishop. Page three, a breakdown of what Muheria did. And I think we remember uh, the proceedings during the, uh, the funeral service. I don't think it was a burial. During the funeral service right here at Nyayo Stadium, where Archbishop of Nyeri, Anthony Muheria, created a star online in one way or the other, embracing that emotional young man who claimed to be a relative to Kibaki during that requiem mass. More details on page three, a story based on compassion. And just yesterday, uh, the cleric, members of the clergy had a meeting with the editors in terms of uh, covering the general election and some of the nitty gritty details that were covered. A lot more in today's edition of